Hey there everybody and welcome to this little update video to show you guys the new rig and how it all works out. I'm really excited to show this to you all and I've got a quick little demo essentially so that you guys can see exactly what happens. So you can see I've got the computer all set up over here and then I've got my two monitors here. We've got the uh, the portrait monitor and then the landscape monitor. As you can see on the landscape monitor I've got my uh, Dragon Quest in this particular case so that's where my gaming goes and then on the other side here I've got my OBS up and running and so that way I can switch easily between everything that I need to have um, as far as that actual setup goes so here let's do this let's take the little tripod here and let's scooch it on over to this other side here so that you guys can see a little bit more right so there's the actual computer itself in a little bit I'll take it off the I'll take the camera off the tripod so that y'all can see what's actually going on but one thing that's really neat too is right behind me right now is I have my little retractable green screen here so here let's move this over so yeah see you can see it coming up just like that and then if you take a look over here on my OBS now let me delatch this real quick hi yeah there we go right so if you take a look over here at the OBS, you can see now that I am essentially invisible. Yay! Or that the background is invisible because my green screen is up. So you can see in the, in the corner right there that it's gone now. And then if I put the screen down, sorry, that was very loud. If I put the screen down, then everything comes back. So it's kind of neat. Um, there's a couple other cool little um, little things that I wanted to show you all very quickly as well. So uh, right here, I've got my mini SNES. This is actually plugged into my game capture card. So essentially what I can do here is first off, we'll um, exit out of Dragon Quest here so that we can go and see the next piece here. So yes, we will exit that. And so now what we'll do, you can see here that there's no signal on that. When we turn on the SNES, it's so essentially the um, the game capture card is always reading and always essentially ready to stream. So I just turned it on and you can see it just popped up on that window. And now the way that I have this set up is essentially on this particular monitor right here, I've got the other HDMI input set up to the game, game card uh, capture output so that we'll be able to have it here and now you can see it. And the nice thing is that these monitors, um, since they have HDMI input, I get the sound through it as well, so I can still hear it while I'm doing my streams. And that's where the, the sound is coming from now. But of course, I still can track everything in OBS. I still have my chat over there and all that good stuff. So it's just really convenient and it works really nicely. It was very smooth when I was doing my um, my big charity marathon live streaming and all that kind of stuff as well. So taking a look at the actual rig itself, you can see I've got everything all set up. I've got my RAM set up as, as the, uh, the waterfall coloration as it's called in the configuration. I've got my, um, my video card all set up there. You can see my cable management is at least halfway decent. I've got um, my two case fans here, Corsair case fans um, that are uh, blowing nicely and it just looks really slick. It looks really nice. Um, like, like I mentioned in my initial video when I introduced all the parts and pieces for this essentially I've got a um, I've got an SSD and that is that has my OS and all of that kind of stuff on it uh, it runs steam and then I've got a um, I've got a separate uh, hard drive that has all of my games installed and everything so yeah just real quick let me swap this back but that's pretty much it um it's it's all set up it's all working very nicely very smoothly everything boots up really quickly which i'm really happy about i've got the nifty little background here um right right back there you can see i've got my um i've got my yeti microphone right here obviously the webcam uh, that's feeding obs at the moment and yeah it's um it's working out very smoothly the um the frame rates have been really good for my streams and everything haven't had any problems even with the uh, graphically heavy games um, since I've got the uh, the 1080 right now um, so yeah I'm, I'm really pretty happy with it up here uh, plugged in I've got my uh, my controller and everything as you can see I've also got my Vive stuff set up so there's my Vive box that again is going into the um, the video card for the capture the headset is down there on top of evolution because that's where I put it and um, this this room is again rigged for the VR so there's one of the base stations and the other base station is on the other wall over here if we just rotate around real quick 
and there's the other base station. It's not a whole lot of space, but it works reasonably well for the stuff that I want to do. So either way, I'm really excited. I'm really happy with it. Everything works great. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let me know. But with that, uh, take care. Hope that you enjoyed this little tour for, uh, for my new rig, and I will see you all next time.